Okay, this topic was with clearing. Okay, let me show you the menu path. It is here under accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, posting, and this post with clearing. This topic is quite confusing, but uh, just bear with me so that I can teach you a simple way to understand it better. Normally, we we post the outgoing payments using a special screen, right? F53. And incoming payment using F28 and credit memo FB6575 and so forth. So, this post with clearing may not be useful if you want to do these transactions because we already have a special screen for that. So, normally, even though SAP has provided us to post these transactions, these three tran transactions using the screen, in actual business scenario, we will not be using this screen to post the outgoing payment, incoming payment or credit memo. We will use this screen only for the last option which is transfer posting with clearance. This meaning that you transfer let me explain through an example. Okay, let's look at this example. Example. Alright. We have thousand dollars posted to this customer now out of this thousand dollars let's say you have wrongly posted this to this customer A and what supposed to be posted to this customer A is only three hundred dollars and the balance should go to customer B which is seven hundred this could be uh, error RNS posting or it could be a legitimate uh, transfer because it could be that this customer A, let me explain how it could be legitimate. Maybe this customer has an agreement with the customer B to transfer 700 out of this invoice to him and then keep only 300 with customer A. So it could be legitimate reason or it could be because of error. So whatever it may be, the objective is we need to transfer 700 from this to customer B and leave the balance of 300 so how to do it one way is the old way I mean the normal way is to reverse this invoice and then repost repost it in two invoices one for customer B 700 and one for customer A with 300 but you SAP provides another easy way or second way of doing this that is using this screen here. Let's see how we can do this. Okay. KR. Sorry. DR is for customer invoice. Company code Sun. Currency USD. Posting period 4. Transfer posting. With clearing. Choose this option. Put 0 1 and choose customer In this example customer A will be 5001 this customer ok enter customer A just assume that this 5001 is customer A let me pause until it compiles ok now it has compiled and you will get this screen let's look at it ok we need to keep 300 so you enter 300 300 goes to customer A ok Now enter here the the text is displaying customer B 
this is displays customer B but in our example this 5001 is customer A okay don't get confused with that just bear in mind that this 5001 is customer A don't look at this just ignore it okay now we need to click this sorry no this one choose open items first you need to choose open items click this and then enter for customer A which is 5001 before that if I click this I'll get only GL accounts here yeah. see GL account so I cannot select the customer this is because of this flag here account type remember as stands for GL accounts so we need to choose D so that we can get the customer accounts here yeah. now choose this we need to enter this and click process open items alright you see this thousand this is the invoice that we need to split and keep 300 for customer A and move 700 to customer B so just double click this so you have a balance of 700 right that will go to customer customer B so how to do that you click this charge off difference difference is 700 so you charge it off to customer B you put 01 01 stands for debiting to customer choose customer B which is this no 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 this 5002 Okay. ignore this name here is, is saying customer C but we just assume that this is our customer B okay enter now put 700 which is a difference 300 has been uh, entered so difference is 700 now we are done just click this simulate so 300 goes to customer A this is our customer A right just ignore this customer A and 700 goes to customer B ignore this customer C ok it has come from 700 goes to customer B 300 comes to 7 customer A now where is my screen ok here I can post this if I post this what will happen to the 1000 1000 will be cleared that's why we call, call, call this post with clearing let's go and check it now before that let me just show you the status I haven't posted it yet I want to show you something before I post it see this uh, 50001 open items overshot by one zero right now it's correct see this thousand this thousand is open right right it's open right so once I post it this will be cleared that's what we mean post with clearing so let me show you I'm going to post it or we can also call it transfer with clearing post or transfer with clearing both means the same let me just pause it until it compiles otherwise it take a long time okay now the document has been posted so now let me go back to customer line item display I have to refresh it and then I can see the latest results let's see what has happened to this thousand it should be turned to green because it should be cleared
something is wrong. Huh? Let me just go back and come again. Let me just check what is wrong first. All right, I went back and uh, refresh the screen properly. Now it is refreshed. I think it was a refreshing problem. So look at this. 300. So the 1000 is no longer displayed here. If I want to see the 1000, I can just go to all items. So I can see 300 here as open. Because according to this, you should be seeing 300, which you are seeing here. Right? 300 is there. And where is the thousand? Thousand is over here. Alright. It has been cleared. So it's green. Good. So where is the other 700? We need to go to customer B. I'll just keep this open. Open another session. Go to the same report over here. There, yeah, 700. 700 is kept open here. See? So we have achieved this. We have open item of 700 for custom V and open item of 300 for custom A. And this is settled. This is cleared. That's the purpose of post with clearing. Alright.